From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome to BBN Tonight at home. I'm Keith Farmer. And I'm Mary Jo Perino. Tonight, Mark Stoops takes aim at his defense and salutes his friend, John Schlarman. And later on, we're going to talk some Kentucky basketball as well. Jimmy Dykes of the SEC Network. And we're going to get an NBA draft preview with Mike Pratt of the UK Sports Network. Well, Coach Mark Stoops isn't mincing words about the play of his defense after that three-point win over Vanderbilt on Saturday. And that begins tonight's Big Blue Story presented by Baptist Health. The Kentucky D once again struggled to get off the field on Saturday as Vandy ran 80 plays converted 10 of 16 third downs, and went two for two on fourth downs. There's no excuse. I sit there and watch us, and at times I see a group of young men that just, they want somebody else to make the play. They want some, some miraculous call to stop the play. Coach, you call something good so we can stop this play because I don't want to stop it. I, I, I'm not going to make a play. Uh, I want my, my neighbor to make a play, but I don't want to make the play. You know, or I want to do my own thing. I don't want to execute the defense. I just want to do my own thing so I could get a stat. That, that's what I see. And it's pissing me off, to be honest with you. Yeah, but Stoops was happy with the play on the other side of the ball as the offense put up 38 points and 458 total yards. And QB Terry Wilson looked like he has returned to form. Mary Jo, we've said it all season. If the two sides could get it going at the same time and have one great game, it would be awesome. And what better time than now? He's getting ready to face top-ranked Alabama. Yeah, I wish Mark Stoops wouldn't mince words so much. It's hard to tell really how he feels right now. Um, I, he's two days past the game, and you can tell how fired up he still is about the way his defense performed. And that's his bread and butter, man. That's his calling card. And uh, you hate to see individual guys um, wanting to do their own thing. And when that happens, it's not good. A football team needs to be cohesive and work together. If they don't get it fixed, Alabama could be ugly. All right, let's stay with football, Keith. There are some big dents in Kentucky's big blue wall. Lineman Kenneth Horsey and Luke Fortner are nursing injuries. Horsey sat out Saturday. Fortner was only able to play one snap. Keith, I'm hopeful that at least Luke Fortner, um, if not both Fortner and Horsey, will be back Saturday. Yeah, and if not, we do know that this is a, a group that has been pretty uh, resilient, has been pretty uh, deep. So uh, hopefully they can get it going against Alabama. All right, here are a couple of other interesting headlines from the SEC. Kentucky will not face Will Muschamp when they play South Carolina next month. The Gamecocks head coach has been fired after a 2-5 and five start. And more COVID delays are hitting the league as the Ole Miss matchup with Texas A&M has been postponed. All right, let's turn to basketball. The school has released its plan for student ticketing at Rupp. It includes about 300 tickets per game, but may vary for games played during holiday or semester breaks. Students are going to have access to buying tickets on a single game basis for select games in a single game lottery process. Hope you followed all that. More information can be found at ukathletics.com slash game day. This is so cool. Meanwhile, UK offering fans the option to have a presence in Rupp Arena and or Memorial Coliseum this season. If they can't be there in person, fans can get cutouts featuring images of themselves or their pets to be placed in seating during men's and women's basketball games, as well as gymnastics and volleyball events. Prices for the cutouts start at $50 with a wide variety of options available. Visit ukathletics.com slash fan cutouts to see your buying options. Mary Jo, you need uh, a couple of those out there. I, I need at least one. I need at least one. And how great of a Christmas gift is this? I mean, and you can give it to someone a little bit early. Um, but I just think this is awesome. We've seen these cutouts in the stands for every sporting event. How much do you want to be on one at Rupp? I, I mean, I, I want mine larger than life, Keith. That's all I'm asking. 
<laughs> All right, the fall season couldn't have gone any better for the UK volleyball team. The Cats ended 8-0, and closing out with a sweep of Mississippi State on Saturday in Starkville. They're the only undefeated SEC team and will take at least a one-match lead into the spring season, Keith, where I know they are hoping uh, for a shot at the Final Four. I mean, they are playing just lights out. Only lost three sets the whole time, and that was one each time. It wasn't like they lost two to one of those teams, so they're playing great. All right, coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll talk with Jimmy Dykes of the SEC Network. He's going to tell us what he saw and what he liked about this Kentucky basketball team. That's next.